Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time it is going to be a 3v3 Iron Man. The winning team will win $150, and if you don't know how an Iron Man works, I'm going to explain it really quick. Uh, once there is one team eliminated with no people left, the other team will win the $150. Pretty simple. Uh, also, if you want to check out a Discord where there's Iron Mans and money matches and all that being held, Make sure to check out the Discord at the top of the description down below. It's the Coliseum. And uh, this will be Team Canada versus Team Unchained. It's going to be a 3v3. This is Team Unchained, and this is Team Canada. And let's just hop right in. So we see Evil Sharon 3 versus Code Duffy. And then we are going to see Code Duffy win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. Let's see if they can uh, see if they can just, you know, squad wipe again. But looking at the deck counts, we have 41 versus 40, and then they are going to go ahead and decide to go first. Looking at the opening hands, we have Rescue Cat, Kit, Tanky, Ash, and Kuraz, so they do have one going second card. Also, interesting that they're playing this. And then they have Fiendus, Red Eyes Fusion, Guru, D-Shifter, and TC Boo. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty solid. Obviously, if there was like a Hidden City, it'd be better, but hey, it is still nice. So chain link one red eyes fusion, chain link two ash, chain link three d shifter. Then go ahead set pass, draw draw and lock bird. And then they're gonna go main phase tanky, go grab ram ram. And then normal summon ram ram, flip tc boo, pass draw hidden city. And then they're just gonna flip guru effect, go grab final battle from the deck to the hand, drop draw and lock bird. Just ah uh, yeah, that's not gonna matter. Go ahead poke over. And then main phase two, set pass, so they're choosing not to activate this. Obviously, they couldn't get the search off, but they could have done that to, like, block an attack. I guess they're just not afraid. But they draw tanky. And then they're going to go ahead and activate tanky, go grab fractal from the deck to the hand. Yeah, I guess it does make sense to hold this. It's like, if you get hit with an interruption, if you, like, fiendus set... And then flip, and you have follow up. But like this is like pretty good follow up too. I I don't know. Actually, I don't know if it was like worth using this or not. But they're gonna go ahead and fractal, go dump Nerval, and then Nerval effect. Go ahead and search. Then normal summon out fractal. Then go ahead and activate that effect. It's gonna be banishing two. You're gonna let that resolve. Bring out Bear Bloom. And then battle phase, attack, they're going to activate final battle, fourth effect, to make it so that way the effects cannot be negated. And then chain guru effect to set fractal. And then that's going to get attacked, so they're going to take 100, go grab fiendus. Yeah, that was pretty well played for sure. Well, it's a whole lot of fiendus. And then they're going to activate Hidden City. Go search out Guru from the deck to the hand. That's not going to do anything though because TC Boo. Normal Summon, Effect, Set Guru, Special. Uh, that, can you even do that? Target one face of Monster you Control, change it to face down if you do Special Summon Subterra. I don't think you can. Because they only have Spellcasters and Dragons and they already have that on board. So... Am I wrong? I very well could be wrong. But I think that you can't do that. Uh, comment down below if I'm wrong or not. But I'm fairly certain that you can. They they are also um, uh, like a guru player. So they just know better than me. Said lagging. Uh, what? Special summon. So... So they're going to set this. So they're going to use that to set. I'm confused. So, oh, okay. So they're going to set it face down. Okay, okay. That makes more sense. I feel like you can do that. Yeah, for sure you can do that. All right. And then get rid of those. Go ahead and make Anaconda. And then Hidden City Effect to flip. All right. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. Should just press the next button like. 30 seconds earlier, I wouldn't have had to explain all that. But going on to the next game, we're going to go ahead and see Tri-Brigade go first. Opening hand or Tri-Brigade 2. Looking at the opening hand, we have Ash, Judgment, Fractal, Harpies, and Cats. That's pretty good. 
And they have Guru, Terraforming, Prosperity, Final Battle, and Strike. So they're going to start off with Fractal Effect. Go ahead, dump Nerval. Nerval Effect, add Kit. And then Normal Summon Kit, activate that effect. Banish, Summon out Bear Bloom. Get rid of those. Go into Silver. And then they're going to get Bear Bloom and Kit. Dump Fractal. Go grab Revolt. Put back the Cat. And then set, pass turn, draw TC Boo. And then they're going to go ahead and activate Prosperity, Banish. I feel like you just let that resolve. Yeah. So, they do hit, like, an evenly off that. That's interesting. They don't hit a Red Eyes Fusion or anything like that. Yeah, they're going to grab evenly and then go ahead and put those back to the bottom of the deck. Evenly is such a cool card. We're going to go Battle Phase, End of Battle, go ahead and evenly, and then Chain Judgment. Terraforming, Chain Ash Blossom, and then Set Guru, go ahead and set some back, Girl Pass, End Phase, or Think. Is this at Main Phase or End Phase? I feel like you just want to be in Main Phase, so that way you can Silver. Said what? Yes, let me flip my trap. <laughs> Now they're going to get Omen and Nerval, Banish, go search out Kit. I mean, that, yeah, that was interesting because, like, they just didn't Silver that turn. But draw Cat. And then Main Phase, Harpies, GG. So now going on to Game 3, we are going to go ahead and see Guru decide to go first. Looking at the opening hands, we have Ash, Desires, Judgment, Twin, and Tanky. So this works. They have a Hand Trap going second. They have Twin. And they have Final Battle, Crackdown, Fiendus, Red Eyes Fusion, and Fiendus. So they're going to go ahead and start off with Red Eyes Fusion, Chain Ash Blossom, of course. Then you can't do that. Um, cannot Normal Summon or Special Summon Monsters, other turn? Wait, you cannot Normal Summon or Special Summon other monsters the turn you activate this card. This does not negate activation. Wow, I can't believe they're missing this. This is huge. I guess it's not like that huge because like they could just like set this effect flip but then like you could chain twin to hit the back row draw kit yeah tanky go grab whiptail from the deck to the hand then go ahead and activate desires I'll go ahead and banish 10 you're thinking sec I normal summoned under red eyes fusion I set can we fix game state you can set it I'm gonna use final battle and standby that's fine all right, then Fiendus negate. At least they caught it. Twin, go ahead and hit the back row, and then yeah, they just say GG. Yeah, cause like they have Whip Tail. Um, that obviously just like beats them. That was uh not a crazy game three. I'm not gonna lie, but it is what it is. So that is game or that's match one done. So we see Team Unchained at three, and Team Canada is currently at two now. Do they see who the next opponent is? Carmido. Ooh, so that's Ryan Yu. Obviously a very good player. And hopping into the next match. So we're going to see Carmido versus Evil. And this is... Carmido is on Team Canada. And Evil is on Team Unchained. And then they're saying good lucks. Gotta love to see the good lucks, even when playing for money. So... They're going to see Team Unchained when the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. And then it is 40 versus 41. And they're going to go ahead and choose to go first. I wonder what deck they're on. All right, so Pure Zoo. Uh, opening hand is Imperm, Ram Ram, Bunny Blast, Chalice, and Imperm. So, you know, multiple hand traps going second. And Chalice also, like, works going second. Honestly, Tri Brigade Zoo feels like it has a rough matchup against this deck. Like, I was playing against this deck a whole bunch, and it feels like every time I win, it's like, like, it's like I barely win. I don't know. This deck's, like, just crazy against, like, Tri Brigade Zoo. I, I don't know why. It just sacks it every time. And then they have Fractal, Strike, Whiptail, Ash, and Desires. So go ahead and Fractal, Dump Kit, Kit Effect, Dump Nerval, Nerval Effect, Add Kit from the deck to the hand. And then activate desires. I will go ahead and banish face down. And we can peep those real quick. So we see rat gone, a kit. So nothing too bad. I mean, they lost a, a kit there. That that's not bad at all. 
Draw Kuraz and Nerval. And then Kuraz effect. This card in Nerval, bring itself out. You know, use Nerval effect, so it's not like they can go search with it. Uh, Kuraz effect, banish two, bring out Bear Bloom. Normal summon out Whiptail. Go for Tiger Mortar. Go for Dryden. And get rid of those, make silver. And the reason they're doing that before going into this is because everyone forgets about the restriction of this. But if you go ahead and search, uh, revolt, and then put it back, you can only special summon tri brigades for the rest of the turn. And then you're going to get bear bloom, go grab revolt, and then put back kit, set some back row, pass play, draw tanky. And then main phase, activate imperm on dryden's, activate tanky. Chain Ash Blossom to that. Normal summon out the Bunny Blast. Battle phase, attack Dryden. And then main phase two. We're gonna go for Hammer Kong, Borbo, Tiger Mortar, and then Chalkanine, and then Dryden, and then Zeus, and that's gonna get Strike. And if you're wondering how they went for this when all they attack was Bunny Blast, uh, you just gotta reread this card because Dryden battled this turn. Then go ahead, Strike. End the main phase, go ahead and silver, bring out Fractal, and then, yeah, end phase, that's going to go back to hand, they just submit defeat there. So now moving on to game two, we are going to go ahead and see Carmino decide to go first, looking at the opening hands, we have Strike, Imperm, Meister, Ash, Imperm, no Zeus, it's not good, and then they have Harpies, Alpha, Fractal, Kuraz, and Desires, so Sand wasn't bad at all, for sure. It's actually rather good. Set strike, pass, draw twin. No point of setting these because you can strike and then just activate these from hand. So that would like play into like twin and this more. And then main phase, activate MST. And then go ahead and fractal effect. It's going to dump kit. Kit effect, dump nerval. Are they doing that on nerval or on kit? Okay, so on nerval effect, hit meister. Or on nerval effect, use meister, I meant. Go ahead and desires, banish in 10. And then we can peep those. See like kit gun, ram ram, kit. So not too bad, they did banish two kits so they have no kit left in deck. And then normal summon out Kuraz. Kuraz effect, banish in two. Chain imperm to negate that. Battle phase, do to poke. And then Passing play, draw Valor, not good. Set Imperm pass, draw strike. Then they're just gonna go ahead and twin, hit Imperm, chain it on Kuraz. Then go ahead, poke. And then set strike, pass play, draw Desires. Oh, that's good. Go ahead, Desires. What, what will this draw? Is it gonna be insane? Uh. Eh, it's not like good. Uh, Desire's next turn is a draw two though. You can't complain about that. Like next turn you're gonna have a draw two. That's not bad. Now we can see that they banished like some zoos, decent amount of zoos actually. If you're counting Tanky as a zoo, which pretty much here you should. Then go ahead, pass, draw twin. You're gonna activate Kuraz effect, banish two, chain Valor, and then they're gonna go ahead and chain strike there. Bring out the bear balloon, battle phase, do the pokes, go ahead and poke for 29. And then main phase two. Uh they did 13 and 12. So they should take 400 more. Yeah, they just messed it up a little bit there. Uh, make silver, and then they're gonna get bear bloom effect. Go ahead and grab revolt, put back twin, set, pass turn, draw ram ram. Go ahead and activate desires. I will go ahead and banish 10 face down. And we can peep all the banishes now. So we two, two whip tail gone, two thorough blade, ram ram, all tankies. I take 400 more damage from last turn, my bad. Hey, at least they caught it. Draw Thoroughblade, Ash. Then summon Thoroughblade. Bro, there's a bug. Uh, like, why? 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 Why is there gotta be a bug? But 
Normal summon Thorough Blade, no effect. And then... I, I don't even know what this says. Rugal, question mark, lol, revolt. Yeah, yeah, like... So they're gonna go ahead and activate revolt. Not silver effect. And then they're gonna go ahead... And you can't, yeah, you can't use alpha. It wasn't summoned properly. And then, so they're gonna go ahead and get rid of four, and then bring out omen. Then they're gonna use chain link one nerve all, chain link two omen, chain link three chalice to negate. And then go grab Kuraz. And then go for Borbo, battle phase, attack directly. And then tiger mortar, hammer kong. Chaka Nine, Dryden's, and then the Almighty Zeus. Zeus effect, like the board. And then Omen effect, we'll go ahead and search out Nerval. Then pass turn, draw Ash Blossom. So, special summon out Karaz by getting rid of Nerval. Nerval effect to search, Chain Ash. And then they're going to go ahead and Zeus, wipe the Karaz out of play. Draw Ram Ram, and then that's just game. Normal summon, Hammer Kong. Drill, switch to attack, Burr for 55. So, moving on to game three, we are going to go ahead. And that was an interesting game. They had no zoos forever. We're going to see Tri Brigade Zoo choose to go first. Looking at the opening hands, we have Mystic Mine, Ash, Tanky, Lightning Storm, Ram Ram. Ah, beautiful. And then they have Kit, Tanky, Barrage, Fractal, and Kuraz. I'm actually thinking about main decking order in my Tri Brigade deck just because of this card like it's becoming so popular it's insane uh if it's game one and i go first and i combo and my opponent starts off with terraforming i ash blossom it because they could just add mystic mine and that's crazy so i i ash blossom terraforming blindly game one we're gonna go ahead and fractal effect go ahead dump nerval nerval add fractal from the deck to the hand Activate Tanky. Tanky will go ahead and add Rat. Then normal summon Rat. Use that effect. Go dump Ram Ram. And then make Chaka Nine. Chaka Nine. Bring out Ram Ram from the graveyard. Get rid of those. Go into Blossom. Blossom effect. Go ahead and summon out Kit. Kit effect. Banishing two. Summon out the Bear Bloom. Activate Barrage. Barrage effect. Pop Tanky. Bring out Whiptail. And then go into Tiger Mortar, Dryden, and then get rid of those, go into Appalooza, and then get those effects. I feel like they could have just done this better. They could have, they could have ended on the, uh, the Link 2 that bounces. Uh, like, Appalooza just doesn't, like, do anything in this matchup. Draw Cosmic. Then they're going to go ahead and Cosmic. Hit Revolt. Chain it. Then I'll go ahead and summon back. Said no. Uh, that was properly summoned. They used two zoos. Said never mind. I was tired. Said yeah man you're good. Eldlish. What? <laughs> Eldlish sorry. <laughs> I don't know what that means but alright. Fair enough. I agree. And then they're going to go ahead and nerve all two. Blossom one, go grab Kit, and then draw one, draws in the called by, and then put back called by. That's banished because it's hit with that. And then main phase, lightning storm, hit monsters, chain silver, bring out Nerval. And then activate Tanky, chain Ash Blossom, normal summon out of Zoo, anyways. And then, you know, they're just gonna put so many materials on this. You know, just stack, 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 Zeus. And then Zeus effect, go ahead, wipe the board. And then they already use Nerval to search that turn. Pass, draw Psalm Strike. And then normal summon out Kit. Zeus effect, wipe the board. Kit effect, go dump Nerval. Nerval effect, chain Ash Blossom. Set Strike, end phase Zeus effect. Draw Bunny Blast. And then switch to attack, normal summon, go on the Hammer Kong, Tiger Mortar, Tiger Mortar effect, we'll go ahead and equip a Hammer Kong from the graveyard to Zeus. 
Everyone always forgets that, like, you can equip to other XYZs. Like, it used to be such a popular play with, like, Degusto Emerald. And then summon out Zeus on top of that, make Chaka 9. Then... Friendly Reminder. Oh, there's even a Judge in here. Friend friendly Reminder, my staff is watching the game. Remember to play it at a good pace after the time to analyze the game state. I'm not saying anyone here slow play, just making sure you both are acknowledging the fact that my staff is watching for any issues. Fair enough. I don't really know what you say to that. You're like, okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, ex exactly. You're just like, alright. Um, thanks, I guess. Pass, draw Imperm, set it, and then they're going to go ahead and Zeus, wipe the board, draw Valor. Then switch to attack, go battle phase, attack directly, main phase 2, summon Zeus. And then pass turn, draw Harpies, and that's game. GG's. Did they mean did, did were they saying like GG and then Jib is next or were they saying GG Jib is next? Eh? Nah, I'm pretty sure they meant like ah GG's. But all right, so Jib is next. So now uh, both teams have two left. Team Canada has two. Team Unchained has two. So going on into the next match, this should be good. We're gonna see Jib Real XD versus Carmado. Uh, this is Team Unchained, this is Team Canada, both have two left. Gotta love to see the good bucks, and then they are going to go ahead, and we're going to see Jib win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, so they can decide if they want to go first or second. And then 43 versus 40, and then they're going to choose to go first. Looking at the opening hand, we have Gamma, Ritual Spell, Field Spell, Droplet, and Delta. So if they were going second, they'd have to go in second card. And then they have Whiptail, Ash, Imperm, Chalice, Ash. So they have multiple going second cards. Then activate Field Spell. Go grab Nova from the deck to the hand. Then activate Nova, chain Ash Blossom. Delta effect. It's going to get rid of Gamma, bring itself out, reveal a ritual spell. Go ahead and draw into Emergency. And then activate Emergency. That was a pretty good draw. And then they're going to go ahead and Alpha Effect, get rid of Delta, bring itself out, go search out Ben 10 from the deck. And then Gamma Effect, get rid of Ben 10, bring itself out, and bring out the Delta from the graveyard. Ben 10 Effect will go ahead and search out for the Diviner. Then Overlay for Beta, Beta Effect the Dump, Chain Imperm to negate that. Normal Summon Diviner Effect, go send Herald. Herald Effect will trigger. Now we'll go ahead and grab the Megalith Full from the deck to the hand. Activate Ritual Spell. Get rid of Delta, bring out Full, and then Full Effect to go ahead and grab back Ben 10 from the graveyard. And then Full, get rid of Ben 10, bring out Full, so they're playing multiple Megalus. Ben 10, go search out Ultimateness. And then Ritual Spell, add itself back by targeting XYZ. Overlay for Beatrice. I always think it's cool how like, two level 2s become level 6s. And then you overlay with them, like that's just wild. Beatrice Effect, go dump Zeta. And Zeta effect, get rid of Herald, bring itself out. Activate Ritual Spell, get rid of Zeta, bring out the ultimateness. And then turn those into IP. And then pass turn, draw Judgment. They're going to go ahead and activate Beatrice effect. Go dump Ava. Ava effect. Uh, uh, I mean, they got a Banish. And then, yeah, that's going to get hit with Ash. And then, like, if they even, like, chain, like, Herald the negate, they just, like, Chalice that. Uh, and then normal summon out Whiptail, IP effect. It's gonna go ahead and summon Unicorn effect, discard for cost, chain chalice, and that's that's just insane. Yeah, then make Hammer Kong, Battle Phase, they're gonna attack Ultimateness, take the damage, but that's gonna get banished. And then main phase two, they're gonna go ahead and just flop a whole bunch of XYZs under the Zeus. And then set judgment, pass, draw prep. So, they may not even have a target for this. Yeah, pass, draw Reborn, switch to attack, beat over Unicorn, and then make Zeus. So now it has six materials. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, it, it definitely has six. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. It's kind of hard to see while it's under that, but there's five last turn, six now. And then go through Dryden, and then they draw Emergency. 
They're gonna go ahead and main phase, act a emergency, chain judgment. Uh, they could emergency discard to add itself back because it was negated. And then go ahead and activate that, go grab Zeta from the deck to the hand. And then Zeta effect, get rid of Zeta, bring itself out. And then not adding with the Zeta, go ahead, Zeus, swipe the board, pass, draw Ram Ram. And then normal summon Ram Ram. Yeah, this is a game. Make Chaka 9. Chaka 9 effect, bring out Whiptail. Go ahead, summon out Drill. Switch to attack. Reborn. It's going to summon back out the Beatrice. And then Burr. So now moving on to game two, we see Drytron losing going first. Now going on to the second game, we are going to see Drytron go first again. Opening hand is Prosperity, Zeta, Delta, Orange Light, Prosperity. And then they have Chalice, Thoroughblade, Imperm, Desires, Meister. So they have multiple going second cards. And then they're going to go ahead and activate Prosperity. That's going to be Banishing 6. Look at those. We see like Downer. Gotta love to see that in the extra deck. Some people just aren't on that card. And then go ahead and Mill 6. Said I'm insulted to be honest. Why is there a rock? <laughs> yeah, I mean... Hey, if they don't play around it, this card destroys for sure. And I like seeing like the twin two, uh, you know, Mystic Mine is a card. Uh, go ahead and add and then put the rest back. And then Alpha Effect, get rid of Delta, bring itself out, and then go grab Ben 10 from the deck to the hand. And then Delta, get rid of Zeta, bring itself out. They can't reveal to draw because Prosperity. Zeta, get rid of Ben 10, bring itself out. Go grab Ritual Spell, Ben 10 Effect, go add the lovely Diviner from the deck to the hand. Or they're going to Meister that Ben 10 Effect, so... Well, yeah, RIP to Diviner, it's not lovely anymore. Overlay, Overlay, go for Beta. Beta, Chain Imperm to negate that. And then... They're going to go ahead and go for Link Kariba, so tiny bit faster, please. Want to see uh, how long did it take for them to do stuff there. Yeah, I mean, 2 minutes and 20 seconds, you can definitely tell your opponent to go faster. Summon, get rid of those, go for IP. Pass turn, draw Ash Blossom. Ah, the Chalice. Go ahead and Desires, and then now we'll go ahead and Banish. So we see like Ratgon, Strikes there, we saw Shifter, that card's pretty good. Draw Barrage, Called By, the draws are also pretty good. Summon Thoroughblade, IP Effect. Go ahead and make Unicorn, and then Unicorn Effect, Chain Chalice. Yeah, that's just... <laughs> Chalice is really the MVP. You know, I didn't understand it, but... Uh, they're in, like, the Discord that this was in. They were talking about how, like, Jib fears this card. And, uh, I get why now. I get why now. Because <laughs> it's really just putting in the work here. And then... They're going to go ahead and make Zeus, and then Zeus effect, that's going to wipe the unicorn, or, yeah, wipe the unicorn, set called by, pass, draw Zeta, I'm going to sit up real quick, I feel like this video is going to be extremely long, they're going to go ahead and alpha, get rid of Zeta, chain Ash Blossom, go ahead and prosperity, and then that will go ahead and banish three, banish Herald, Beatrice, Sword, and then, so they, they're playing uh, the three Link 4s. And then they're going to go ahead and grab Gamma out of those. And then, you know, use Graveyard. Or, yeah, I guess they're just not going to try to continue here. Fair enough. Uh, they Even if they tried, like, they just weren't getting anywhere. Then they draw Whiptail. And then, wow, they say GG's. Yeah. I mean, it is game, for sure, there. Said next is Trish. Ooh, Trish is playing in this. Nice, nice. I wrote down uh, who's on Team Canada. Because I didn't want to, like, mess up and, like, say, oh, they're on this team and, like, mess it up. But now we see Team Canada currently have two people left. And Team Unchained has one left. So will they be able to beat the two people? I don't know. Let's hop into the next match. And then we're going to see Carmido versus Young Trishula. Also... Make sure to check out my guys' uh, Twitch page down below. 
Uh, it'll be right under the Discord in the description. Uh, he has a great Twitch page for sure. Make sure to go follow him. He streams Yu-Gi-Oh, like him playing. Definitely check him out. But so now we see you know Team Canada two, Team Unchained one left. And then uh, I gotta see the good looks. And then we're gonna see Young Trish win their rock paper scissors shoot forty versus forty, and they're gonna go first. Opening hand is Imperm, Order, Chalice, Thoroughblade, Judgment. So they have one going second card here, or one hand trap. This is a going second card too. And they have Chaos Space, Black Metal, Tracer, World Legacy, and Ogre. All right, so uh, I feel like this may have uh, been like a, like a pre-side kind of. So that way they can like hit the zoo stuff. Go ahead, Normal Summon. And then go for Striker Dragon, get those effects, go add Red MD, go add Boot Sector from the deck to the hand. And then they're going to Chaos Space, get rid of Red MD, go grab White Dragon, and then banish the Red MD to go ahead and summon out the White, and then get rid of those, make Seal, White Effect, go ahead and grab Black from the deck to the hand, and then activate World Legacy, summon out Black Metal, turn that into LP, effect to move LP, and then LP effect, chain imperm to negate, and then banish white, summon out black. Uh, also, like, you're kind of forced to negate that when playing a deck like this. Otherwise, that can just summon Dragon Maid and go grab Tiding, and that card's insane versus you. Chaos space, go ahead, put back white, draw on the Nocto, make Pisty, and then they're going to get black to go grab white. And then Pisty effect, summon back out the Red MD. Right MD effect, summoning out Striker Dragon, go ahead and get rid of those, make Romulus, Romulus effect, go ahead and add Ravine from the deck to the hand, and then get rid of all those, making Appalooza, and then they're saying think real quick, then activate Ravine, discard white, sending Chamber, and then activate boot, boot effect, summon Tracer, Tracer effect, pop World Legacy, summon out Recharger, and then making a Striker Dragon, Effect, popping itself, grabbing Recharger, Recharger effect, bring out Chamber, Chamber effect, grabbing the Tiding from the deck to the hand, getting rid of those, summon out Savage, Savage effect, equip Romulus, set Tiding, pass turn, so, yeah, that, that's just game. Draw Whiptail, normal summon out Thoroughblade effect, Chaining Ogre, said, that's one way to prep for Cody and I. Yeah, Ogre is also pretty decent versus the Guru deck because Hidden City effect, Ogre, and then that just doesn't do anything. Like they just have like a set Guru that doesn't do anything. And then said for Coat and I, me and Coat. All right, all right, I get it, I get it. Now going on to the next game, we are going to see Carmino decide to go first. Looking at the opening hand, we have Imperm, Valor Strike, Order Strike. They're just drawing no zoos. Like, that's wild. And then they have Black Metal, Red MD, uh, <laughs> uh, World Legacy, Abs, and then Ogre. And then they're just going to go ahead, set four pass, draw Chaos Space. And then Chaos Space, get rid of Abs, go grab White. So they're not flipping Order here. So they're trying to play around, like, Cosmic, I'm assuming. And then Abs, go grab Tracer. Spanish, summon out white, and then they're going to strike that. Normal summon out black metal dragon, go ahead, turn that into striker dragon, striker dragon effect, go grab boot sector, launch from the deck to the hand, and they know they have red MD or they would have activated that. Banish your red MD, and then red MD effect, chainsaw and strike, and then chaos space, put back striker dragon, draw on the rocket synchron. And activate boot, boot effect, chain order. So at this point, they're like, oh, you know, if you if you have cosmic, you have cosmic. Yeah, just pass. Ah, they, ah cosmic. That's cool. Uh, take 700, and then set pass. And then take 700 on their standby. They draw ogre. They're going to go ahead and normal summon out tracer. Poke. It's only for 16 because this is negated. Main phase two, Tracer, try to pop boot, chain Valor. Nah, they could have tried to do an end battle. Draw Ash Blossom. Not helping. Set, pass. Hey, there's Cosmic. Take seven. Tracer, pop boot. Go ahead, summon out Recharger from the deck. 
then get rid of those, summon out Papega, and then Papega effect, chain imperm to negate that, normal summon out Rocket Synchron, make Striker Dragon, Striker Dragon effect, pop itself, add back Recharger, Recharger, summon Red MD, and then they just submit the feat here. Alright, said so Drive is the last, said Unfortunate, lol, oh well. Yeah, they didn't have a zoo. But, um... Alright, so... Now, moving on into the last match. We have... Oh, never mind. I, I've seen this name for sure. Um, but... So, we are going to see Team Canada. And... Oh, I forget the other team. Oh, Team Unchained and Team Canada both have one left. So, this final match decides who... Which team wins the $150. So, this is obviously, like, a... Most important match of the whole thing. And uh, let's just hop right in. So if you didn't know, this is Team Unchained. This is Team Canada. And then we are going to go ahead and see Drivable Windmill. Win the Rock, Paper, Scissors, or Shoot. And also, again, make sure to check out Young Trish's uh, Twitch. And 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. And they are going to go ahead and decide to go first. Looking at the opening hands, we have Droll, Recharger, Quick Launch, Ogre, and Quick Launch. So multiple hand traps going second. They have White, Brotar, Rocket Synchron, Boot, and Quick Launch. Sucks to draw that. Then go ahead. Activate Boot, Effect, Chain Ogre. Just slamming that down. Quick Launch, Summon Out Tracer. And Normal Summon Out the Rocket Synchron. Go ahead and make that into Striker Dragon. Turn those into a seal. And then banish striker, summon out white, making that into an LP. White effect, go grab black, and then dropping draw on Lockbird. Banish white, summon black. You're thinking there, you're gonna turn black into a striker. And then LP effect, summoning one from the deck, summoning out red MD. And then striker dragon effect, popping LP, add back rocket synchron. Then Red MD effect will activate, summoning out Tracer. You're thinking there, Tracer effect, pop Red MD, summon out Recharger. Then turn Recharger into Pisty. Pisty effect will summon back out Recharger from the graveyard. Turn those into Quad Boral. Quad Boral effect, pop itself, summon back out Tracer and Rocket Synchron. Then make Papega Ruler. And then Papega Ruler effect, mill 5. And then, you know, they're under Droll. But they get Safer to Grave, Nocto, Chaos Space. And then turn those into a Hot Red. Pass turn, so they still have Hot Red Seal through two hand traps. They draw World Legacy Guard Dragon. Normal Summon out Recharger. Seal Effect Bounce. And then Seal Effect to go ahead and Summon. Summoning out Chamber. Chamber, go grab Trap. And then Quick Launch, Chain Hot Red Negate. Quick Launch. Combo, bringing out Tracer, get rid of that for Striker Dragon, Striker Dragon effect to go ahead and add Boot Sector Launch from the deck to the hand, World Legacy Guard Dragon, targeting Tracer in the graveyard, special summon that out, make Needle, Needle effect, summoning out the Rocket Synchron, turn that into LP, effect the move LP, and then LP effect to go ahead and summon, summon out Saferd, Saferd effect, get rid of Recharger in hand to go grab White, and turning all of those into a sword, boot, boot effect the special summon back out from the graveyard, summon those back, and turn those into a savage, savage effect to equip, equip needle, um, they obviously know tidying in hand, but they do not know Burotar, and banish striker, summon out white, turning that into pisty, white, go grab black, and then pisty effect, summoning tracer, tracer effect, pop the World Legacy, summon out Rocket Synchron, Banish White, summon Black, turn those into Papega, and then Papega Effect, Mill 5. Oh, that's just, yeah, that's just beyond game. It is already, like, really good. Grab Levy, yeah, they just admit defeat. So now, going on to Game 2, we saw Young Trish win going second in the mirror. Game 1. And now Game 2, we're going to see... The drivable windmill decide to go first. Opening hands are boot, tracer, black dragon, black metal, and nib. So they have one hand trap going second. They have black, tiding, safer, driver, safer. And then normal summon safer to effect, get rid of safer in hand. 
to go and search out Tracer from the deck. Then they're going to get rid of Seyford, summon out Striker Dragon, Striker Dragon effect, go grab Boot Sector launch from the deck, banish Seyford, summon out Black, and then turn those into Romulus, you get Black and Romulus, go grab White, go grab Ravine, then banish Black, summon out White, turn those into Seal, activate Boot effect, summon out Tracer, combo Tracer, popping Boot, summoning Recharger, Turn Recharger into LP, turn Tracer into Striker Dragon, LP effect to try to summon. They're gonna summon out Chamber, Chamber effect, grab Tiding from the deck to the hand. Then they are thinking here, Striker Dragon effect, pop LP, Recharger, Recharger effect, summon back out Tracer. Turning those two into Savage, Savage effect, Chain Nib, tribute the board, smack a token on their board. And then they are going to get seal effect, summoning out the rocket synchron. Then activate ravine, discard tiding, go send levy. Yeah, they're playing the ugly levy, the ugly red MD. Banish safer, add back ugly levy, banish darks. Oh, they accidentally just showed tiding. Then summon levy. Levy effect, roll, and that's going to hit Boot Sector out of hand. Oh, alright, hits Black Dragon. Then get rid of those, make Quad Boral. Quad Boral effect, discard Driver. It's going to go ahead and summon out Tracer and Rocket Synchron back. Tiding, summon out Chamber. Get rid of those, make Papega. Then Papega Ruler effect. Mill 5, grab Tracer. Now they have Chaos Space Engrave, another Light. It's always good to get like those Lights Engrave. Chaos Space, put Striker back, draw Ash. Oh, that's another interruption. Go for Hot Red. Then Banish Light and Dark, summon out Papega. Set Tiding, pass turn. So three interruptions versus Nib. And also they got to put a card back. Draw Quick Launch, activate Quick Launch. They are going to Ash Blossom that. Then Normal Summon Black Metal. Go ahead and bounce that. And that gets banished. And then they admit defeat. So now moving on. To game three, we are going to go ahead and see Young Trish decide to go first. Looking at the opening hands, we have Ogre, Chaos Space, Brotar, Tiding, Ash. This works. And then they have Black Metal, Driver, Ash, Levy, and Droll. Chaos Space, get rid of Ogre. They're letting that go through. Go grab Black. They don't want to get punished. Uh, all right, so they, they just want to Droll here instead of Ash. I was going to say they don't want to get punished by Gamma, but obviously like, this would play in the game anyhow. And then Banish Ogre, Summon Out Black, Normal Summon Brotar, turn those into Seal, Satiating, pass turn, so three interruptions, they draw Brotar. And then Normal Summon Black Metal, Seal Effect, Bounce, Seal to try to summon, Ash negate that, draw World Legacy. And that's not bad. World Legacy, add back Black Dragon from the grave, Banish Seal, Summon Out Black. Yeah, this is really good. So they're just gonna, well, are they gonna try to go for game or are they not? Banish black, summon white, chaos space, putting back black, draw into ash blossom. It's a whole lot of ash. Go for Romulus, those effects will activate. Grabbing black, grab a ravine. Then normal summon ash, go for needle. Needle effect, summoning out rocket synchron. Then they can turn that into LP. World Legacy, move the LP, LP effect, summoning out one from the deck, summoning out Black Metal, turn that into Pisty, Black Metal to go grab regular, not ugly, Red MD, Pisty effect, summoning Brotar, Brotar effect, get rid of the Black to go grab Levy, and then, yep, they just submit defeat, yeah, GG's, wow, that was, uh, not a crazy game three, but overall that Iron Man was pretty good. I can't lie. The, the first match, there was a few misplays, uh, like a few little, like, you know, normal summon after Red Eyes Fusion, but it's going to happen. Uh, not perfect. But seeing how long this match was, holy, this was a long match. This is going to be a long video. This is going to be like 
Uh, I'm going to guess. If I get this time exactly right, everyone's going to say I'm cheating. But I'm going to guess an hour, 26 minutes, and 10 seconds long. But we see Team Canada losing here. So Team Canada has zero people left. Team Unchained has one. So they are the winners. They're going to get paid $150 for winning this. Again, if you want to check out the Discord where stuff like this is hosted, you can go ahead, check out the description. It should be at the top, right next to the top. And then Young Trish, if you want to check out his Twitch, then it'll also be in the description down below. And, uh, yeah, I think that's all I got to say here. Overall, some pretty good matches. Not going to lie. Not bad. Not bad. But, uh... Yeah, shout out to the Discord for giving me these replays. I appreciate you. And with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.